you you said leadership is a responsibility. We actually talked uh, the last couple of weeks about this. Mm. We've had people, uh, especially with this year and all the craziness going on, and it's it's a time for seems like a lot of people, especially in our industry, could be a little passive because mm-hmm. we haven't gotten hit as hard in our industry. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've been talking about the responsibility we have because we are kind of thought leaders as insurance dudes and dudettes out there. Uh, but just, I mean, even if you're a mom or a dad or heck, I mean, everybody's a leader to to some point. So, so talk about like the responsibility we have as leaders. I like that you said that, like what, what is the, there's probably a lot behind that. Hold up. Oh yeah. So uh, I'll use the current circumstances. So when when I flew back from Dallas on March 13th because an event I was attending was canceled. That's the week that the NBA shut down like it's all just happened, right? That week Right. And then by the following week, everything, especially here in California, we were shut down. Right. Yeah. So I um, immediately held I held a, a free webinar. Can you hear that? What was that? It's a pipe. It's a pipe. Can you hear it? What are you doing, Chris? Yeah, well, you are in California. Oh, there we go. It's a pipe. <laughs> You're cute. Huntington Beach. OK, um, it's just a pipe in my house. Is it really loud? No. Are you sure? That's fine. I'll just talk like this. Okay. Um, (laughs) Where was I? (laughs) I derailed you. Okay, no, it's my fault. Okay, so um, I held a free call on that Saturday for any woman who's an entrepreneur who's trying to figure out how they're going to negotiate this moment, right? And, of course, at that moment, everybody was like, it's probably about two weeks. (laughs) Right. (laughs) <laughs> and I was telling my clients, no, it's not. You need a plan for at least 90 days and you need to do a worst case scenario and you need to get your whatever in gear because your team needs foundation and they need direction and they need clarity and they need safety. And that doesn't exist outside of you. And it doesn't exist for you. So you're going to come here and we're going to work it out so that you can go out there and be a leader in this moment because that's what people want. The ambiguity and the fear is what has been so detrimental, not just in businesses, but socially. I mean, look at we're a mess, right? Mm, And so leadership matters. And it's, it's kind of like one of those things like you don't, think about it all day. It's like oxygen. You don't think about oxygen, but when you don't have it, you, you get it. You see what happens in the absence of decisive, empathetic, transparent, clear, directive leadership, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise people make it up. They're making up stories. They're fabricating their own truth. They're whatever. They don't know. So yeah. that, so that's where I see that responsibility. And the truth is right now for anybody running a business, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> you are, all of us are making it up, right? Like we just talked about, do I want to go here? Do I want to live in this place? Can I get there? Like, I don't know. So we have to, and you know, parenting is the same. Our kids are all looking at us. I have three teenagers. They're like, when's this going to end? I'm like, I don't have an answer, but here's how we're going to negotiate it right now. This is how we're going to run it as a family because I'm in charge and you need Mm -hmm. that from me. Yeah. Hold up.